Hey everyone, it's Nick from Nick's Crossing, and welcome back to the workbench for another tutorial video. And today I'll be talking about, as you guys see on the table, these are LEDs, light emitting diodes. And today I'm going to be wiring up a brand new piece to my collection, even though it's a piece of uh, new old stock, Lionel, from 1987. And that's going to be this awesome Conrail caboose. Now I did put lights in here, I just wasn't too happy with it. So I went searching on the inner zones and found these awesome LEDs from Amazon, from this company, Evermodel. Uh, we have three different kinds, I'll talk about each one. And we're going to be rewiring this caboose. Now I will be taking out the old wiring that I did and showing you guys how easy and simple it is to wire up LEDs in a car just like this. So to start, we have the spotlight LEDs. You can see it's like almost like a grain of wheat bulb. And all of these work off of AC or DC, 16 to 18 volts is their preferred max. Uh, they have all the diodes and everything, so you don't need to wire up any other circuitry or anything like that. You just hook them right up to your track or your track power or accessory power. So I like using these in like uh, lanterns, just like this right here. You can glue them in so they illuminate out. Looks really cool. I'll set these over here. Next, we have these flattened LEDs that are in a series of four. You kind of have to break them apart. Uh, probably with a pair of needle nose pliers, that might work great for that. And next, we have a longer strip LED. These are about two inches long. You can see it starts here and goes all the way back here. And here's one of the brand new LEDs. These are the uh, spotlight. And <laughs> look how bright that is, it's amazing. See on my hand how bright this really is. So here's the other light very bright as well. I can actually mount them on the inside of the shell facing down. You can already see how bright that is through there. So I came up with a plan for lighting up this beautiful shell. So instead of using this larger spotlight LED up in the cupola through that hole, I'm going to be using one of these uh, mounted to the top of the cupola shell. So I could actually stick that in there like that, shining down. But then on the inside of the shell, I will be using two more of those LEDs inside the uh, cabin of the caboose. Now for the lanterns, uh, I'm going to be using the two older lamps because I don't want these to be too bright shining out. And they're already kind of wired up. We can figure out this mess. But I have two of them right here and I'll mount those back inside. So in total, we should have, I believe, five LEDs in total, be one, two, two in the cabin, and then one up top. So it should be a very, very bright caboose. So let's get to it. So we're going to be hot gluing all of these into the shell. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So I have the hot glue gun ready to roll. So we can put a little dab of glue right on the back of there, and then quickly push this down right on the shell. This stuff should stick really well. There we go, got both of them broken apart there. And we'll put this one down here. So you guys can see that. Put a little dab of glue on there. And put that right there. There you go, right in there. Move these wires kind of out of the way. Now you can see with the incandescent bulb that used to be in here, uh, this would kind of pick up the light. It's like a diffuser. It would diffuse it through the outer glass. But when I bought this caboose, the light was missing and the socket was actually damaged. And we'll do this, place that in there. We grab something quick to hold this down so the glue can set. And now we can run our lights for the rear of the car, where the two lamps would be. Place that back where it was. And yeah, I know I just covered this lamp with all that hot glue, but once you stick it in place, it will stay right there. Cool, there's one in place. We're all ready to go. So what I'm going to do, instead of using the soldering gun and wire all these in a big clump and then shrink them over, I'm gonna try using a lock-on so it's solder-free and 
I don't have to get burned or anything like that. I just need to organize all my wires really quick and attach the cupola. And I'll show you guys what that looks like when that's all done. All right guys, so this looks like a mess, but I've gathered all of one side. I'm calling this the red side or hot side. I've gathered all the wires into a grouping of five. And we're gonna use one of these lock-ons. And these work by, um, well, it's really a wire splice, but you add all the wires that you want in one side, and then you run the power wire through the other, and it groups them all in one cluster and applies power through this instead of soldering this whole grouping and then hoping it sticks and all that good stuff. So we're gonna put all of our ends the best we can in one side. And I use these all under the train table, organizes everything very nicely. We're gonna take our red wire on our frame, which is right here. We're gonna put that through this other side that. See it poking out on my finger here. So then what we're going to do is push all these back in and then we're going to take a pair of pliers, our needle nose pliers over here and we're going to crimp down on these wires. All right so now all of them should be held. They're crimped, they're in there and five. There's all the black wires here. We're gonna put the white wire through the through side. Kind of pinch down on it to hold it. And we're actually going to use larger pliers to smash down these wires. All right guys, with some fidgeting, I got all the lights to work. I also had some issues with wiring it up because one of the leads fell out. So that's all that was going on with this back here. So now everything looks great, check this out. Beautifully lit caboose, we'll turn off the uh, shop light here. Look at that, looks great. All from five LEDs, one, two, three, four, five. going to conclude this railroad tutorial for today. Hopefully you had a great time watching me install LEDs into this beautiful Conrail caboose, bringing it back to life once more. Hopefully I don't have to dig back in here because these LEDs should last a couple of thousand hours. So it's kind of reassuring, but I do trust these LEDs. I recommend placing them in cabooses or cabise, passenger cars, and even motive power, which you guys have probably seen on the channel already. I want to thank you all for joining me, and if you're new to the channel, always consider subscribing. Giving the video a like and a comment really helps out. Until next time, everyone, happy railroading. See ya.